What up guys? Thanks for tuning in to Pappy Eats. I'm in line at Jack in the Box here. Um, I could have went to go enjoy my lunch today, but I said I'm doing the spicy madness thing, so I figured I'd get a chicken sandwich. Spicy chicken sandwich. I'm confused about Jack in the Box because a while ago they came out with a new and improved chicken sandwich called the Cluck Sandwich, and there was a spicy Cluck Sandwich and a deluxe Cluck Sandwich, or something like that. I couldn't have that one because it had avocado, but I did have the regular cluck sandwich and the spicy one. Um, I was underwhelmed. So I was gonna redo the spicy cluck sandwich for lunch here, except looking on their website, they don't have the cluck sandwich anymore. They just have the Jack's spicy chicken sandwich and Jack's chicken sandwich. So I don't really get what's going on. I thought they put out a new and improved chicken sandwich but now they've taken it away? I'm gonna ask. I'm confused. Um, apparently Jack in the Box is 70 years old. There's a sign, celebrate 70 delicious years. I don't get how they're in business. Like, I, I know I've got some of you guys watching this. You guys really like Jack in the Box. I'm not sold. Everywhere else is better. I know uh, they the breakfast stuff I've had is pretty good. I could see getting like an all day breakfast kind of setup from here. I get that. But yeah, on the menu, it's Jack's spicy chicken. It does say it's a thicker filet. So maybe what they've done, the thicker filet came out, they did the cluck sandwich. And I'm guessing they're they're done with the whole special sauce pickle thing. I don't know, that was promotional. I don't get how that's promotional. That should just be what you roll with. So we're going with Jack's Spicy Chicken. I, I guess, yeah. And how much do I get to pay for this? $4.89. Oh, that's gonna be fun, guys. Um, so you can skip forward if you wanna see me eat that, but I know I got some viewers that like it when I just ramble on about stuff. Um, Merch Madness kicked off today. Um, I'm already betting on that. <laughs> Um, we'll see how Florida does here. It's not looking so good. Um, work is work. I have coworkers that know this channel exists now, so I'll just leave it at work is work, I guess. I was confused all day. I'm still confused. There, there was one user we have that, never mind. It, nah, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still working at the place I mentioned forever ago. I had to wipe out a bunch of videos because I didn't want coworkers seeing those. I didn't plan on them ever becoming aware of my channel. But the one coworker, he, he was into food and we were always talking about fast food and stuff and other food YouTubers. So I'm like, you know what? He's going to find me eventually. So I'm like, yo, I'm on YouTube. I'm on this channel. Keep it on the DL. He didn't keep it on the DL. So here we are. Um, I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow. That's exciting. Um, my first dose anyways. So that's good. And then I think I'm going to watch uh, my, my soccer team I follow, Everton. There's the Carolinas Everton like club. And they usually watch games up in Charlotte. But tomorrow they're watching in Greenville, where I live. It's gonna be outdoors on a big screen. Uh, it should be cool. I'm looking forward to that. I think I'm going to that. Um, so maybe you'll get a video or something from me downtown. I don't know. That should be fun. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, sorry I haven't been as active. I guess I'm picking up again here. All those new sodas came out. That provides some content, right? Granted, people aren't here for the sodas, typically. They're here for, they're here for the food. If I ever get food here at Jack in the Box. Didn't think I'd be talking this long. Didn't think I'd be talking this long. Um, yeah, I'm I'm beat. I'm stressed. I'm tired. Something's got to give here. I don't know. But I still enjoy the YouTube thing. For the most part. I keep, I keep changing things about how I interact with YouTube and other YouTubers. And the more I back away from certain things the happier I am with it. Um, 
If you're a fan of the channel, you may have been one of the 60 or 70 or so people who caught the one video I posted last week, but I was gonna take a break maybe. Um, I had people attacking another channel and I was not going for that, so while I appreciate your support, guys, don't, don't attack anyone. The guy didn't do anything wrong on a personal level. I, I did that chicken sandwich video at Taco Bell and uh, it's only in Charlotte and Nashville. So I was thinking, based on where, where I know all the big YouTube food people are, I'm thinking I'm gonna be the only one with a video on that. Um, but I was wrong, because if you, if you Google it, you'll notice the endorsement has a video on it, because he drove eight or nine hours up from Florida. I don't know, it's insane. If I had 20,000 subscribers, would I drive eight hours for a chicken sandwich from Taco Bell? I wouldn't put it past me, right? I don't know. I can't say for sure. It seems insane, but I go insane for Taco Bell, so whatever. So I was really bummed out because I thought I was gonna get a ton of views and stuff for that. I, I, I didn't. I didn't because I don't come up in the Google search results. He does. But that's okay. I'm it's whatever. I'm over it at this point. I'm gonna just keep doing my thing. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. If the people wanna watch, people will watch. I try to mix it up. I wanna mix it up. I'll do some longer videos like this. Um more shorter videos. There are people that like the shorter stuff better. It gets more views. And ultimately more views means more people see my channel, which means I'll get more people who enjoy my content. And then I can do more longer videos like this that maybe more people will enjoy. This one I had, I'm, I'm just rambling. Seriously, I didn't plan on being in line here at Jack in the Box so long. I forgot how miserable this Jack in the Box is. The line isn't moving. It's starting to move, but the car in front of me is not moving, which means they're still waiting to order. I hope because they seem to be understaffed here, because, I don't know, is Jack in the Box must not pay well or something. They keep going out of business here. It's not a great experience. The one near my house has gone out of business, maybe. Based on, I've heard multiple people tell me about the place that's replacing it, and it's gonna be way better. It's like a healthy, local Cuban flared kind of Chipotle style bowl kind of place, sandwiches and bowls. Looks good, looks great. I still haven't had it. It's gonna be way better than Jack in the Box. But the fact that they were waiting, I, I, I learned they were waiting for that to happen or something else went out of business and then I think they bought the building from Jack in the Box or something to be there, maybe. It might have just timed up perfectly. I have no freaking idea. I don't really care anymore. Part of me was hoping a Chipotle would go there, because as much as I'm, I'm sure this place is gonna be great, but it's not gonna be Chipotle. I love Chipotle. I waited 34 minutes in line for Chipotle last night, and I was kind of numb to it, because I just, uh, you know, Chipotle knows how to disappoint me over and over again. But everything was perfect. It was so delicious. It was worth the wait. The chips were great, the cheese was great, the bowl was great. I, I loved it. Here's the problem with Jack in the Box too. I can't bail. I am stuck in this drive through line until I'm out of it, until, until I can get through it. There's, there's no way out. I hate drive throughs like that. You're trapped. I can't back out either. I got two cars behind me. Three cars behind me? Three cars. Four cars? Good God. Oh my God, I get the order. I'm just gonna get the combo. I don't even care, whatever. Hey, uh, do you still have the cluck sandwich or is it back to the old sandwiches? I gotcha. Um, in that case, can I do a number 10 combo? And can I do curly fries for the side on that? Yeah, 10 with, 
Uh, small. Can I do a Coke Zero with vanilla? And uh, that should do it. Thank you. Had to ask. They don't have that anymore. Why would you get rid of that? Jack in the box. This is why you're irrelevant. Thank you. Now we wait. All right, I got my sandwich, guys. Yeah, even when I was waiting, a comment rolled in, one of my older videos. Guy told me, your channel is vastly underrated. I was like, ah, thanks. Something tells me this isn't it. Ah, uh, maybe it is. This doesn't look like the picture. But, whatever. Alright. Spicy, Jack's spicy chicken sandwich. I figured out the whole cluck thing. There's the sandwich. That's what she looks like. Kind of sizable looking, sort of. If we take the bottom off, it's all kind of stacked up over there. I don't know. It's got that old classic poppy thumbnail image, right? Like way more excited than I am for this stupid thing. All right, one of those shots will work. Um, yeah, so it says thicker filet. So I think they upgraded their filets and they put out a version of it They called the cluck sandwich that had the different toppings in the sauce That's why they still had this on the menu while that was up there same filet Just the cluck was different So let's see how this works. Let's see how it tastes Here's a first. See how I said it was kind of stacked up? Somehow they've glued two patties together. I don't know. Um, I will say the bun's not bad. Lettuce and tomato aren't bad. They actually use a slice of lettuce, unlike, say, McDonald's. Um, it's $4.89 for the sandwich alone. And that price might be a little high. It might be a little less at other locations. But still, that's not the $4 sandwich, right? Um, Flavor is okay. The spice is there. That's really nothing exciting. It's not one of these new hand-breaded sandwiches with extra crunch and flavor. It's not bad. It's not super spicy. And that's, that could be good or bad, but the flavor's not there. It's a little bit of spice. Eat. So the question is, this is pretty similar to the Burger King one, right? The only reason mine is this thick is because it's some sort of flaw in the, in the patty. It's like two patties on one. So the chicken really isn't there. I think the Burger King one was better than I had yesterday. So I'm gonna leave Burger King on top. This is second, PDQ's third. I wonder if I can show you. Oh, this isn't going to turn. There's a billboard staring at me. It says, new crispy chicken sandwich McDonald's. Maybe we'll get them next. You've seen what I think of that. There's a story about that one, too. That'll be this weekend, I think. Or maybe tonight. I don't know. Jack's spicy chicken sandwich. 
I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats Spicy Madness. Stay tuned for the ranking here. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I really appreciate it. You guys take care.